Welcome back to GDPG. Hi, everybody. Uh, we're uh, still on floor three out of three in the caves, so we're probably close to the boss. It's acid time, everybody. I've just said no, I'm going to shield more often. You keep saying that. We also killed the guy that was producing that was the acid. Dodge. No, it's not. Oh, did we? Okay, that's right. <laughs> Man, already going back in your word. Whatever. What? Whatever. That was a dodge, and I also got hit. Aren't you supposed to be... Ooh. I did not even mean to do ooh. that. That was also a dodge? That was just walking away casually. <laughs> well, yeah, that was. But when you got hit, you dodged into the hit. Dummy. Oh, he disappeared into the wall. <laughs> oh. I'm well, not sure if it's a, um... I mean, oh. or he's just dead. Yeah, well, I think it's like he's dead, but there's been times where it's like, I don't think I should have killed that guy with that attack. And, uh, That's yeah, fair. Eh. But I, I mean, mean, it could be like a collision issue where, like, it's being collided against two things, so it either, like, just causes it to error out and destroy itself, <laughs> or it, like, causes it to to bounce back and forth between the collision points so fast that it just, like, ticks down the health immediately. Kind of like what we saw in uh, the Aquatic Adventure of the Last oh Human. Oh my, yes. <laughs> it's just like, alright, then I guess. At least it's happening to the enemies in this game and not the player. Goddamn game. <laughs> I still love it, but Jesus. Hemp invincibility is a thing for a reason. Oh. Ooh. You did that to yourself, man. You're like, I want to hurt I, myself, well, right? Well, I, I second guess myself. And that's <laughs> the thing with John is like you have to be decisive. You can't. Uh, you can't like pussyfoot around it. Yep. Like that. Mm -hmm. Hi, buddy. You know, you don't even really need to kill everybody in in these levels, but you always. I'm always you left always with like to? the desire to do so. Like I want the experience, but I also want to like. I don't know, check every part of the map, and I don't want these guys to be following me to later parts of the level yeah, also, so I just like... the door and there's a red guy <laughs> on the other side, you're like, well, now I have to kill you, even though I know it's gonna hurt a lot. Right? I think that's one of the benefits of procedurally generated games, though, is that, like, because you don't always know what's around every corner, it makes you want to explore it that much more. Mm -hmm. But as soon as it becomes, like, a, a set level design... Um, like say it's a pre-built level If you know that there's nothing around that corner You're just gonna stop going around that corner the next time you play it unless there's like some good reason to go around that corner You know, that's where you get those dirty speed runners. Yeah, exactly Well, I guess you could speed run this too, but it wouldn't be nearly as effective. That would actually be a challenge Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I don't mean like speed running is not a challenge. <laughs> I did not mean to to uh, to insult speedrunners, I, I actually it's, really respect it. There's but there's luck involved. Yes, based on the procedural generation. And although I would say it's still random generation and not necessarily procedural, because I doubt it's building out the level as you're moving. I think it builds out the level when you move to the next level. I think yeah, I was gonna say I think although, it's, I think it's based off floor. I guess it's still procedural because it's probably not building it using existing chunks. So yeah, I guess that technically still is procedural. It could be, but I it's, don't know. It procedural seems to be pretty is a little organic as far as but look at this yeah. map. I'm not going to because I'm already here. Yeah, and I'm not going to gain a level anytime soon. So, all right, y'all ready for a boss? Here we go. Let's do this. Yeah. Just so in case you forgot what your uh, controls were. What does that little heart that appears above your head mean? Uh, usually it means you get healed. Yeah, That's but usually when my vampirism goes. Yeah, okay, but you is... don't you don't get healed though before you face the boss. At least it didn't happen to me when I fought the boss last. At least I didn't think so. That's satisfying. The dust falling, like cracking open, mm -hmm. letting you know nobody's been here in a long time. Right. You know what that reminds me of? So good. It uh, it reminds me a lot of Titan Souls. Yes. They uh, they did a lot of that in, in Titan Souls. Goat man. Goat this man. Guy. He's actually kind of easy if you are like, okay with being patient. Yes. Um, like there's really no point in attacking him while he's following you like that because yep. you're you're doomed to get hit. But if you let him do that. You can at least get one attack off. Mm. Yep. This will be what wrecks you, man. Um, what I ended up oh, using was... Oh, I can was... stun him. Oh, for a Ooh. decent amount of time. Ooh. That, by the way, is very... Uh, uh, ah, Ooh. Deceiving. It looks a lot slower than it is. That's fair. When I when I fought him, I actually used the uh, the little kid, the the sneaky guy, the roguish guy. We need to figure out what his name is. I 
Gotta start referring uh, to him as Sneaky Guy. Well, yeah, John is the only one that I know of right now, and that's because you told me his name was John. Oh, no, this is bad. Ooh. I should have shielded. Should have shielded. Yeah, you should have shielded. Um, but when I used the, the kid, I, uh... Oh, God, he's it. Okay. Good. Oh, I'm glad oh, they canceled his Oh, can I attack. do that in... Oh. Forget. I don't know if that'll cancel his charge, but... We're gonna, we're gonna find... Oh, it's too risky. It's a little risky, yeah. Yeah, you're too, too slow. slow. I think it would cancel it. Oh, you just wrecked yourself. Although, one nice thing about the vampirism is, uh, you can still recover health even if you're not killing them. It's just dealing damage. So I, I actually recovered a lot of health just, like, getting hits off on this guy. I did not realize that, I'll be honest. I'm glad you just said that. Yeah, it's it's nice. I mean, that will only save you a couple of times. Yeah, like you just got six health from that. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. So you're not in the flashy reds anymore. Ooh. I'll be proud of you if you beat him, Nathan. This will be my, like... I don't, have you beaten him yet? I have not beaten him, so I don't know what's beyond this point. It's my second time fighting him. Yeah, I only fought him once before in my personal playthrough, and that's because I was sneakily not doing my day job. Oh no. Ooh. At least you re recovered a little bit of health there. Even though you lost more than half of it. Oh! God, John's slow dodge freaks me out. Just gotta be patient, man. That's what I've been saying this whole time. <laughs> like you would know, Mr. Stealth whatever guy. <laughs> yeah, ooh, that was risky. You're going at him, like, right as he's attacking you. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. At the very least, I feel like oh, come on. his heavy-hitting attacks have decent anticipation, so you can pretty much always see them coming. Like, you're given an animation cue and a sound cue that he's about to take the charge. Oh, but when I was using the sneaky guy, I actually had the uh, the heavenly sword. It's it's just like a, the big one that drops from the sky and has the radius effect. Um, but that ended up working really well on him. Ooh, that was good. It's too bad you couldn't get longer on that. Yeah, I didn't want to risk it. Yeah, you would have died if you had. <laughs> yeah, die. Abort! Abort! <laughs> there you go, this is it. No! It wasn't it for you to die, it was it for you to kill him! You had it, man! You didn't specify! <laughs> you had it! No! Uh, that sucks so much. I did not want to go that way. <laughs> I blame the keyboard. You're so close! Look at that! That's like four more hits and you would have had him. That Maybe sucks. five. Man. I like these stats though. Best hit streak? Is that, like, number of hits you get before you get hit? That might be. Huh. That's pretty good. That's pretty it's good. 69. Right for a slow guy. It's... Yeah, right? Well... Especially for a guy that gets hit a lot because he doesn't use his shield. Whatever, man. I think if even the shield can't be hit. Oh, here we go. There's the cutscene you were talking about. Yep. Although in the sanctuary of the Bergson's house, the young cub is far from safety. Exhaustion racks the animal's body, its chest heaving for only the smallest of breath. Better save that goddamn pup or cub. Grandma Margaret, turning to a worried John, believes she can remedy the situation with some plants from the nearby caves. Was she, was she called Grandma Ma? I think that's what he said. It's awesome if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> Grandmama. Grandmama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, that's good. Well, I'm gonna have you take over from here on. Yeah. Okay. I think that I think it'd be appropriate. Um. So I, I'm. I guess I'll probably play the the kid. Um. We'll start that in the next episode, but we still have like 40 yeah, more seconds on this episode. Talk about what we're seeing. So before, if you notice, the bodybuilder guy was up here. Oh, he's and not now there he's anymore. Not, and so they do move around. It's like they have a life, and he's sitting oh, there. Oh, that's kind of fun. Yeah, I saw him moving around a lot. Like he was doing handstands for a little while, and I was like, <laughs> "Look at this guy." Yeah. So yeah, bodybuilder guy is just sleeping. sleeping. I want to see what the bodybuilder guy is like. He's I, probably gonna be slow and, and deal a lot of damage. I, I mean, hope he just like suplexes his enemy. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> a little overkill. <laughs> so it's, it's funny to point out that they say that John has trained all of his kids how to fight. How did he train him to do that? I know, right? Like, well, maybe, maybe like 
John started the training and then he like went off and found some ninja ninjutsu master and studied under him as well. Maybe, so the story behind John is like he uses his ancestral <clears throat> shield, right? Mm -hmm. It's a shield he got from generations to generations. Maybe he uses that to hold himself back, but he really knows how to do everything that they could do. <laughs> That'd be pretty because intense. Because I'm, I'm <laughs> hashtag John is the best shield swordsman ever. Yep. See, right. without Tony here, that's what you get. <laughs> you did this. Hashtag. Yeah, if you haven't seen the Bastard Saga, uh, I recommend it. <laughs> what do you mean? We're hilarious. <laughs> if you ever want to see like me do a lot of weird editing stuff, the Bastard Saga is the place to go. <laughs> oh, yup. So uh, I guess uh, to finish this off, you can look at the others. All right, they won't allow you to click on. Yeah, them. I want it. I wish you could. I wish you. Could. I I wonder if they're even ready to play yet, but I'm really really curious. Yeah, and there's a question mark over here, and I think that this is the Kickstarter exclusive character. Oh, okay. Because, I can see uh, that. It's they they said something about like secret. I think like a friend of the family or something mm. like that. Th that's about all I know. But um, excited for that. And, nice. Uh, yeah. Well, cool. That's that's all we got. Um, question of the day. I I think talking about the boss battle would be appropriate. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things we could talk about. Like the boss itself wasn't incredibly complex, but I mean, like it was still kind of fun. I felt like, uh, you know, I feel like the boss is, is one of those tutorial characters because as as you saw, I was doing terribly at first, <laughs> and then I started to learn it. And then occasionally my brain would just give out and then I'd get hit. And so I feel like he's a tutorial boss in the sense that he teaches you the skills that you need to have. Mm. As in, like, I would attack and then I have to move away. And the moment I got overzealous about it, I would get punished hardcore for it. That's fair. So maybe, so, maybe yeah. the question is, do you think the boss was successful in teaching the player, like being a conclusive point in the tutorial of the game? Um, and do you think that the boss is well designed to be fun? Yeah. I mean, aside from just teaching the player, like, was it fun? Was it an interesting boss? Also, is he cool? Because, I mean... I mean, fun and cool, I guess. Or... No, 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 fun. No, like, is he cool? Look at it. He's like a goat satyr demon man. I mean, he, it fits the, like, demonic, like, evil theme. Yeah. What was he before that happened? Ooh. That's a good one. That's not the question of the day, though. No, that's not the question. <laughs> the one that he asked was question of the day. Uh, my question of the day is, shouldn't you guys be clicking on our Facebook and oh. YouTube stuff and everything and liking us and stuff? Especially if you want to see funny and weird behind-the-scenes episodes or videos. They're like one-minute shorts, but it's usually this guy being weird. <sighs> Hours of entertainment over here. Adios. Thanks for watching, everybody.